Okay, so um, someone posted a video response to Zeitgeist Movement Exposed, one of my videos on my uh, other channel, the one that kind of lampoons some of the sillier arguments about the Zeitgeist Movement, and um, <laughs> he's already removed it as a video response, so I think he just realized that it was actually a pro Zeitgeist video, or I don't know, maybe he's just circulating it around as a video response to many people. Anyway. Sorry, my phone just rang. Anyway, I'm going to respond to this video as I watch it. So it probably might not be the most comprehensive response, but I think this is going to be kind of fun. Okay, the purpose of this video is to deprogram people who are members of the Zeitgeist movement and uh, want to go into the Venus Project. Whether you want to accept it or not, I'm sure you're all very nice people, but the fact is you're a member. Oh, yeah, thank you. I am a very nice person. But the fact is, you're members of a cult. Oh, no. I'm not a member of a cult. Any other cult, you've been brought in there and you've been brainwashed to believe that that has the solutions now. Um, we don't claim to have the solutions. We claim to want to use science, a solution finding tool, to find solutions. There, there, there is no singular solution being offered here. There is no holy book or doctrine or philosophy or anything that you have to follow to be a member of this movement. Or I wouldn't even use the term member. I would say supporter. The movement doesn't have members. It has supporters, some more vocal than others. Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll let you continue here. Now, it's very obvious that the Zeitgeist Movement is a cult, and I'll give you an example of why it is. On a previous video I made, I got a lot of comments from people claiming that somehow, and this is really frightening to think they actually believe this, that the Zeitgeist Movement is a part of some kind of consciousness elevation. And in You're scared that people think the Zeitgeist Movement is part of a consciousness elevation because... Oh, I just seen the annotation on your screen. Never give people the right to their own opinion, Jock Fresco. If you listen to his actual statements and explanations of these statements, what he's saying is that society shouldn't be run based on opinion. It should be run based on, you know, reality and what actually works, observable effects of nature and such um. indeed in the movie Peter Joseph does even state that you know the, the answer is within human consciousness and then at the right yeah the consciousness issue yeah um, the movement I'd consider it to be a consciousness raising movement but I, I don't attach a lot of the mystical aspects to it I don't know if you do either um, Thomas Sheridan Arts, um, but to me consciousness raising basically means uh, humanity's knowledge growing. When we realized that the earth wasn't 6,000 years old and that we evolved from other animals, that was a raising of people's consciousness. And the specific uh, <clears throat> consciousness raising the zeitgeist movement is involved in is to raise people's consciousness to the fact that we live on a finite planet with finite resources and we need to adjust our actions to be in harmony with nature in a sustainable fashion meaning our production our consumption we're the ones who have to align with nature if we want to survive, basically. So I think that's a pretty big um, point to raise consciousness. Um, now you're also uh, <clears throat> stressing individuality here. I haven't watched the video all the way through, so uh, I don't know if you're going to go into that more, but there's nothing wrong with... Um, people all thinking the same way on 
things that are correct. Is it wrong for everyone to believe, if you want to use the word believe, that the earth revolves around the sun? No, because it's true for the most part. Or the, the <laughs> because it's true. And um, is it wrong for people to realize that we can't live in a free market paradigm which demands continued expansion uh, when we can't expand anymore. We're running out of space. Is, is it wrong for people to not be individualistic and have their own opinion on that? It's... Yeah. I'll just leave you with that question, I guess. I don't, I, I'm, I'm literally baffled. I'm waiting to see what this next five minutes and 20 seconds gives me. Usually follows that up with, and you do this by joining the movement. Now, can you explain to me how externalizing one consciousness to an exterior control system? Oh, okay, hold on. Externalizing one's consciousness to an exterior control system. That's quite a big leap. To, in order to join the movement, as Peter suggests in the movie, you don't have to surrender your individual consciousness to some control mechanism. All you do is try to raise others, other people's consciousnesses about the issues I previously discussed about the finite planet. Um, yeah. It's elevating your individual consciousness. It isn't. It's exactly the same thing as religion. It's exactly the same thing as... Uh, drooling over a politician who has no intention of doing anything for you but believing all his hype. Okay, so believing that we should use science and not have any leaders and make decisions based on observable feedback from reality is the same, exact thing, same thing as religion or following a politician who has no intention of helping anyone. Let's see. Following a politician who has no intention of helping anyone. Following a religion, basically a set of myths. Or exact same thing. Or using the scientific method to arrive at the most uh, desirable, sustainable... Exact same thing. I could use all the buzzwords we use. You, you know what our system's about, I think, or I explained it before. I'm gonna hit play. I'm never gonna make it through this six minutes. Exact same thing. Okay, then that's been established. You're now you're now programmed. If you joined the Zeitgeist movement, then you're still in it. And you're actually promoting it. You are a programmed uh, cult member, just like someone who's in the Moonies or. Okay, uh, because I'm part of the movement, it's now been established by what you said, that I'm a programmed cult member? Alright, um, just a quick question, w what exactly did you say that established this? That we were surrendering our consciousness to an external control mechanism? That made no sense. And, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm, okay. These are, you know, in any other kind of cult, you, Jonestown, whatever. Now, I'm Oh my god, just don't even fucking bring up Jonestown. This is a group of scattered people across the internet who share a set of common understandings and want to help other people reach these understandings because we feel they're very important for the survival of our species. We're not segregating ourselves off and Jonestown just fuck fucking be reasonable dude. <laughs> I'm not judging you because you might be a nice person and your decency may have led you into the cult so so now you're trying to appeal to my emotions by saying, oh, you're probably a nice person, and I'm sorry you got lured into this cult. Um, but you still never established how it was a cult. You said one thing about why you kind of thought it was one, but 
There was no substance there, my friend. No substance. You're just assuming that you're a decent person at heart and you've been seduced by this classic cult recruitment manipulation technique of, of uh, appealing to your better nature and then, then bringing you into this sort of surrogate family to, to offer you a, a, a future that doesn't exist. So okay, um, a surrogate family offering me a future that doesn't exist. I, I, I don't live with the local chapter members. I'm not, it, they're not my family. Some of them are my friends, and well, mo they're all my friends, but um, a surrogate family. Is it wrong for people who share similar ideas to converse and talk about these ideas that, that makes us a cult so is every group who shares any similar interest a cult I know by some definitions it is you know the physical fitness cult for example um, but when you're making uh, comparisons to Jonestown it seems you're kind of conflating different uh, usages of the word cult here so let's continue. so Let's talk about the Venus product for a second. For starters, all the the gardening and food will be created through hydrophonics. Um, yeah, I know in Zeitgeist Moving Forward, Peter specifically mentioned hydroponic uh, towers because he believes that's the most sustainable way for us to produce food. Um, a lot of people in the movement disagree with him, and really what Peter says matters very little as when you want to get into specific predictions for what will actually happen in a resource-based economy because of course everything that is done agriculture included will take into account what is the most sustainable what is the most uh, beneficial for humans for example hydroponics um, I don't know you might be about to touch on this because I think I cut you off mid-sentence but they um, have a hard time, I, I think, getting the same nutrients to the plants as you do with a regular farm. It's You ha might have to use a lot of chemicals. Although I have heard of other techniques like aquaponics or things like this that are more natural and provide more of the same nutrients as uh, standard agriculture. There, There's always solutions to these problems. He's not saying that it's definitely going to be hydroponic farms as we know them today, scaled up. Um, sorry, I'll let you continue. This is horrible. This is actually chemicals. So you, there you go, right there, you're, 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 a, you're a chicken living on a, a human chicken living on a factory, on a battery farm, okay? So, okay, dismiss the chemicals thing because, like I said, it probably wouldn't turn out that way. Um, I don't even think Peter thinks uh, uh, the hydroponics would be the same technology we use now with the uh, disgusting petrol chemical fertilizers and that sort of thing. Um, here, let me rewind it. What was the other thing you just said? So you, there you go, right there. You're, 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 a, you're a chicken living on a, a human chicken living on a factory, on a battery farm. Okay. We're a human chicken living on a battery farm. I'm sorry, I don't follow the analogy. In a, in a factory farmed environment, you'll no longer be a human being, but you will be a resource. Oh, okay, a factory farmed environment because all the cities are going to look the same because they're, well, be, we would say because they're built to be the most sustainable, so they would probably end up looking similar because similar things would be like when you find something that works the best you would use it across the board so a lot of the cities might look fairly similar but um, that's not necessary um, <clears throat> necessarily true uh, when you actually look at Jock's designs they're actually quite diverse though I don't like to point to Jock's designs as what the future is actually gonna look like because I don't think any serious member of the movement thinks that it's going to look exactly like those designs. He has great ideas for sure, but he's one person and we want seven billion people to help do this. So um, his ideas are going to be, you know, 
kind of diluted with uh, all the other ones should this go forward in the global sense that we hope. Um, as for us being factory farmed environment, it's a scare tactic. I, uh, you're just, um, I, I don't think you're doing it on purpose. I think you're actually scared. I think you're misunderstanding our point. Now this is very telling stuff because it just, it, if you look at their pictures and their graphics, there's almost no people in them. The reason is... Uh, the, uh, okay, there's no people in them. That's because we're talking about city designs. Um, there's no people in them. That just, it, uh, I'm trying to think of the word for whatever kind of fallacy that is. Just bringing up some unrelated point. It, it, just because there's no people in the pictures, it's a dehumanize it, the the economic system won't work because there's no people in the pictures that Jock made. Okay, cool. I f think I follow you. Most of you are to be wiped out, and who will be forced to go? Well, I somehow cut you off, but hold on. Pictures and their graphics. There's almost no people in them. The reason is most of you are to be wiped out. And Oh, jeez, I wish I'd continued before I made that. So the reason that there's no people in the pictures is because we're going to wipe them out. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Um, project much? And who will be forced to go? You guys. You, the leaders, the, the ones who are a part of the zeitgeist movement going forward. You will be forced to be taken out. And I'll tell you how this will happen and why this will happen. You need to start learning your history. Remember that old statement? Those who don't learn from history are condemned to repeat it. Well, you zeitgeist movement folks, you are a classic example of that. What ha who are the first people to be taken out when the Bolsheviks took over the Russian Revolution? Okay, who are the first people to be taken out when the Bolsheviks took over? I'm gonna guess you're about to say it was the leaders of the Bolsheviks, the... Um, not the top, top leaders, but all their main helpers, like someone like me, for example, what I do for the Zeitgeist Movement, make videos. And, uh, <clears throat> it's a complete straw man argument because this isn't the Bolshevik Revolution. This has nothing to do with the Bolshevik Revolution. This has nothing to do with any other past revolution. There are completely unique ideas being presented here, and the methods by which we want to achieve these ideas have nothing to do with the Bolshevik Revolution. Or, um, I, I'll let you continue. Revolution. The, the revolutionary youth committees who began the revolution, the idealized young people and general people who were behind the revolution initially were the first ones who put up against the wall and shot. Who were the first ones Hitler, the first group that Hitler wiped, the Nazis wiped out when they got the power? The brown shorts, uh, Brom and the rest of them, the most fanatical de devotees of, of the Third Reich and they were obsessed so now we're also Hitler's followers? Hitler was a fucking um, racist, fascist sociopath, and PJ seems to be someone who makes movies. <laughs> about uh, an economy that was designed by another dude who's really old. <laughs> oh man, this is getting fun. Um, I'm glad I decided to do this response as I watch it. It's entertaining me. With Hitler to the point where he was their god, they were all rounded up and shot. Most of them were murdered in hotels. Well, that was their mistake, making Hitler their god. That's why we in the Zeitgeist Movement make a big deal about not idolizing uh, Peter or uh, Jock and Roxanne <clears throat> saying whatever the fuck they want about these people. We disagree with them all the time. There's forums where things it just it, it's a complete straw man. You're talking about Nazi Germany and pretending that this is the exact same thing. Uh, that they'd been put in for the weekend. Braun himself was ha the most devoted foot soldier of Hitler, was handed a gun inside a cell and told to shoot himself. You know, you hear, that's what's going to happen to you guys. You are going to be, the, you are going to be forgotten.
This is how they always work. This is how these revolutionary cults always happen. The ones who are the most fanatically devoted in the beginning will also be the ones, that's you by the way, who will feel the most betrayed when it doesn't work out the way it is. When they start seeing uh, giant posters of fresco all over the walls, like people in China saw giant posters of Mao and were told they were being promised a people's revolution. What they got was a Mao cult. Same thing happened. Again, you're just projecting all of these past ideas onto what we're doing. It's not the same thing. It, we have no... Uh, I already went over all this. It happened in Russia with Lenin. Same thing happened in, in uh, Kampuchea with Pol Pot. And the same thing will happen in your beloved Venus Project. How do you know the same thing will happen in the Venus Project? We have different aims, we have different means to achieve those aims, and we have, uh, it, it's just, there's no connection besides a few similarities between a resource-based economy and uh, communism, which I'll admit there are, like, there's, there's similarities between a resource-based economy and the system we have right now. There's similarities between a resource-based economy and technocracy, a lot of them actually, and just, you can't say that what we're doing is in any way equal to what they did. It's a complete bullshit argument. You are not part of it. The cult of the Godhead is of Fresco is what's really driving this. And be honest with yourself, admitting it, this is why you're connecting yourself up to his central computer. So he Sorry, I'm connecting myself up to the central computer. What the fuck do you mean by that? Connecting myself up to the central computer is there to provide information. Like say <sighs> Say there is only so much water each person can use. The central computer would send out suggestions, letting each person know when they're getting close to... This is all my personal speculation. It's worth about as much as Jock's or uh, Peter's. It would send out information to them about when they're about to reach their quota. So people would be aware when they're using more than what is sustainable. Would some people use st still use more? Probably. Some people would still use less. It's a value system disorder um, that needs to be corrected so that people realize that when they're given the information about what is possible, they can change their actions to align to that reality. I can't remember what I started off talking about, so I don't know if I responded properly, but I made a good point. He, his, his surviving legacy can drive your future consciousness through a, a program. How is that elevating you as a human being? How his surviving legacy can drive my consciousness through a program. Again, you're referring to a program as if we're being programmed. So what exactly do you mean by that? We are programmed by everything we hear. You're programming people by what you're saying, and I'm programming people by what I'm saying. And yeah, Jacques programs people by what he's saying. Um, it's up to us to be rational and scientific and figure out for ourselves, our individual selves, this individuality that you're talking about. It's very important in the Venus Project. It's very important in science in general, which is what the Venus Project is based on. Uh, I'm not sure where all these fears of uh, group think or controlled thought are coming from, it's uh, more telling about your own fears than it is about anything we propose. How is that elevating your personal consciousness? It's not. It's destroying it. It's elevating my personal consciousness because it gave me new information that I never had before and allowed me to make connections that were never made before. 
they're not the only people who've elevated, elevated my consciousness. There's a ton of influences on my life. I, I don't want to get into a list. Fucking Carl Sagan, um, Ray Kurzweil. I'm trying to think of people completely outside the movement. Um, Richard Dawkins. Um, Jiddu Krishnamurti. I guess he's not really outside the movement because he's in one of the movies. Um, I just wanted to throw that in there because right after you say Dawkins, people get a little, uh, he's a little too atheist or something like that. He's a smart guy. I don't agree with him on everything. Just like I don't agree with Peter Jacques on everything. And guess what? I'm still an advocate of the movement because I don't have to agree with everything they say. Get wise and wake up. And one more thing, people should look at this as well. The zeitgeist is using very powerful uh, neuro-linguistic programming and symbolic imagery to, to brainwash you people. Look at the way it's even presented. You have a holy trinity of fresco. Neuro-linguistic programming and symbolic imagery to program. It would have been great if you could give some examples, but now you're saying we have a holy trinity, and I'm assuming you're about to, uh, <clears throat> quote, Jock, Roxanne, and Peter, which is actually kind of funny because you posted this as a video response to my Zeitgeist Movement Exposed video, which makes fun of that very idea because it's ridiculous. Yeah. They, they're not the Holy Trinity. They are just the visionaries who started this train of thought that has now taken off with millions of members around the world. They are, at best, they're celebrities within the movement, popular people, because they, first of all, they know their shit. They are the originators of these ideas and uh, second of all they're charismatic speakers they're good communicators um, yeah I don't know what neuro-linguistic programming you mean I'd, I'd like an example of that or the symbolic imagery that is also programming me um, because it, it's cool to just throw those things out there without actually uh, backing them up in any way, but it doesn't lend much credence to your argument, unfortunately. Roxanne and Peter Joseph, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Joseph himself goes on, on videos saying things like, Oh, I will never have children to save the earth. Doesn't that sound like Jesus who, like... <laughs> He's never going to have children to save the earth because Peter's not having kids is going to save the earth somehow? He never said that. He said he would feel irresponsible bringing a child into the world as it exists right now because the world is fucked up. He didn't say he was trying to save the planet by not having a kid. And no, it doesn't sound like Jesus. What the... Talking about... Jesus, is Peter going around claiming to heal the sick or do anything magical? No, he's going around claiming to be a documentarian who gives lectures about a resource-based economy. That's all. <laughs> you know, devoted his, his mission on this earth to his father's, his father's church. And it's the exact same thing. They're, they're appealing to you with specific proven archetypes that are brainwashing you and pulling you into a cult. So here's the story, right? So the archetype they're using is that of God and the Son being Jock and Peter. And somehow, because Peter is spreading the message of an older man, this means we're the exact same as religion. It sounds like a very surface... A very surface association. Bad grammar. Sounds like quite the surface association with absolutely no basis in objective reality, sir. If you're currently a member of the Zeitgeist Movement or the Venus Project cult, leave. And I won't ever judge you ever again. No uh, you're, so you're judging me now? Because I'm not going to leave. So I guess you're judging me. 
cool. I'm not judging you because I think you're just scared and I think you don't understand what it is we're talking about. And you're projecting a lot of fears onto our ideas. So, either way, I'm not judging you. You can judge me all you want, I suppose. It's kind of sad, though. None of us will put you down or make fun of you for being a human being. In fact, we'll actually praise you for recapturing your independence. Get away from those clowns, get away from that system, and start thinking for yourself. You can think for yourself and still be a supporter of the Zeitgeist movement. They're not mutually exclusive. It's a false dichotomy. In, th in fact, thinking for yourself is encouraged. People who challenge ideas within the movement are some of the most active and useful members we have. Stop externalizing your own potential in order to fulfill the wishes. Externalizing my potential. Am I supposed to take my potential and do nothing with it in the external world? Just sit and, what, make, meditate all day or something? You, you have to externalize your potential, otherwise it has no effect on anyone other than yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't use some of your potential to work on yourself or meditate or something like that. I think that's cool, but stop externalizing your potential that's extremely dangerous if nobody externalized their potential there would be nothing external for us to benefit from and uh, e wow of who are i believe a pathologically driven old man who's long past a sell by date if you okay you believe he's a pathologically driven old man just want to make sure that's just your belief if you're a young person, the last thing you should be listening to is an elderly billionaire. Oh, that's funny. Um, just because, oh, the billionaire thing caught me off guard at the end, which is ridiculous because they were trying to sell their ranch because they can barely afford to keep it up. They started trying to take donations for the movie, and you know what, dude, they haven't made that much money. This, uh, these guys do not make a lot of money. Sorry, ran out of space on my phone here as I was recording this. Um, yeah, it's obvious they're not billionaires by the way they live. And there was another point there that I actually laughed out loud at that I forget. Hold on, let me rewind. If you're a young person, the last thing you should be listening to is an elderly billionaire. Right, the last thing I should be listening to is an elderly man. It's funny because I um, always used to say the same thing, that uh, old people were holding the world back, the... A big problem with our government is it has no young people in it. I was a big advocate of, uh, uh, I wrote a blog post that, talking about old people with old ideas and the negative effects they were having on, uh, humanity. But, uh, Jock doesn't, isn't your typical old person who spouts the rhetoric of the current system, um, and just to say we shouldn't listen to him because he's old is kind of ageist. Um, the reason I, myself, was spouting off about old people with old ideas is because of the old ideas part. And old people do tend to have old ideas. Jock's ideas, well, I guess you could call them old because he's been saying them for a long time, but nobody's been listening, so they're new to a lot of people. They were new to me when I first heard them. Okay, get out of that cult now and save yourself, okay? And we won't judge you. But while you're in there now, the last friend you'll find are the ones you're being the most devoted to. So take care and get out. Okay? See ya. <sighs> okay, yeah. I'm, I think I said everything. You are only human, and making mistakes is part of being alive. Learning from our mistakes is what really matters. It's a beautiful quote. Um... Yeah, I'm going to end this video off with a compliment. Oh, just uh, wrap-up thoughts. I think I should close this off with something. Um, yeah, so the video wasn't anywhere near as uh, intellectually stimulating as I'd hoped it would be. It was just a lot of fear and scare tactics, which was good because it was easier for me to refute um, on the spot than actual real arguments. So, uh, I hope someone enjoyed this. <laughs>